time to get the old three section candom resistor out. I'm using my spring tools rivet removal set. You can see it's really just a chisel. And the cool thing is you can see it's got 3,500 pounds of PSI. Comes in really handy when it's not practical to drill out the rivets and does a really clean job as you can see. And laying out the three resistors, soldering those together after uh, cleaning up the tabs using a little bit of flux and also roughing up the back to make it adhere to the chassis itself to act as a heat sink. With one end of the candom being grounded, some new hardware here to attach the uh, power resistor to, the end again that will be grounded to chassis. And again, I'll be applying the uh, power resistors back to the chassis using the Arctic Silver. Used it in the past just a little bit, goes a long way. And uh, you can see here everything in place. I'll just let this set up for a bit and then uh, tie everything back in. As you can see, I did a dry fit, marking around the uh, new power resistors to make sure I got the placement where I want it. Again, tying in another one of the uh, bypass caps. And uh, here I'm just prepping my new uh, power cord. You can see the uh, end that has the cloth on it, just using a little bit of um, super glue to hold everything in place. And a close look under the chassis now, after getting the new power resistors in place, the uh, fuse holder and the new line cord. And some testing here of the uh, voltage drop as compared to the uh, schematic and everything seems to be uh, spot on. So I think we're going to be in uh, really good shape. We'll take this thing for a, a little test drive here in just a moment and uh, see how well it plays using my uh, little broadcaster here. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for watching, folks.